overwhelmingly in this body by a vote. The Missouri House wrapped up another week as lawmakers continue to send House bills to the Missouri Senate. Lawmakers third read and passed a proposal aiming to change the way state employee union members pay their dues. House Bill 1617 requires state employee unions to receive written authorization before automatically deducting union dues or fees from their paychecks. The legislation requires the written authorization to occur once every 12 months. It's just an annual written authorization, so if you do not want your money being spent, if you are against, not with, whatever it is that the union is supporting politically, then you don't have to have your money go to that. Lawmakers narrowly approved the proposal. It now heads to the Missouri Senate for consideration. If the bill runs the legislative gauntlet, it must receive approval from the voters before becoming law. Keep that value. That the Missouri House put its stamp of approval on a proposal aiming to protect the Second Amendment rights of all Missourians. House Bill 1439 establishes the Second Amendment Preservation Act. The legislation makes all federal gun laws intended to infringe upon the Second Amendment rights of Missouri citizens null and void. What this bill will do now that the criminal penalties have been removed is still position the state of Missouri to defend its citizens from an encroachment by an ever increasing and endangering federal government. The legislation also lowers the age requirement for a concealed carry endorsement from 21 years to 19 years. This bill is clearly unconstitutional based on the supremacy clause of our Constitution, Article 6. The Supremacy Clause established that the U.S. Constitution, federal statutes, and U.S. treaties are the supreme law of the land. Despite vocal objections, lawmakers put their stamp of approval on the Second Amendment legislation with 110 yes votes. For this uh, weight limit are the interstates. Rounding out the week, the Missouri House approved legislation raising the weight limit on trucks carrying agricultural and livestock products. House Bill 1235 raises the weight limit on trucks carrying agricultural and livestock products from 80,000 pounds to 85,500 pounds. Lawmakers approved the proposal with more than 105 yes votes. Reporting from the state capitol, I'm Jonathan Lorenz.